And welcome back, Gamer Nation. SKS here with SKS Plays Democracy 2, part of the SKS Game Blitz, brought to you by this game, Infernal Zephyr. Last time we left off, we're in our third term, starting our last one. Um, we've still got support of the population. We've got a few issues. We're still trying to get rid of overcrowdedness. I'm hoping that goes away soon. It looks like it's about to go below the line. Let's see. Internet crime is at an all-time high. I wish that there was more things to stop that. But I don't know. Uh, freedom. Freedom is his price. Where there's no shortage of material online. No, that's not what I want. Legalized prostitution. Speed cameras. I mean, yeah, we had some minor issues going on, but... I don't know. I really wish the cheap imports would drop. See, minimum wage is hurting that. Hope you all take that note at home. And inner city riots are really close. Let's save this political cap. I don't think there's anything I really want to do right now. I wish that uh, import tariffs, cheap imports, can be damaging. Uh, this does go against real free market economics, though, and this can be unfair on foreign countries, possibly sparking retaliation. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Capitalists and patriots like us. Employment goes down. I don't really see the issue on this. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We can have some low... There we go. Alright. So hopefully we can cure that problem. Let's go on to the next turn. Patriotism is the last refuge of the scoundrel. <laughs> Let's see, good news. 15.84 billion surplus. I can't wait till we pay off our debt. Intelligence services say everything's okay. The election's not for a long time. The people are different. Wow, we're 64%. I need to do something to make people happy. But I'm a lame duck this time, so I won't even be running for election. An extreme right-wing political group is planning a march through our capital city. The group has strong racist tendencies, and the police are convinced that if the march goes ahead, there will be violent confrontations between the marchers and people who show up to oppose them. The police recommend banning the march. Ban the march. The mar police have given us a good enough reason to ban this march. We must take into account the views of the vast majority of our society. Freedom of speech does not mean freedom to riot. Ban this march. Allow the march. One of the basic freedoms in our society must be the right to fe freely assemble. I believe that. I think socialists would even allow this. Alright. 83% of the people are drinkers. I can actually... Where's the alcohol tax? It's only generating a little bit. I'm going to cancel the alcohol tax and see what happens. Tax evasion is going back down because taxes are reasonable. Corporate tax is average. Car tax is okay. Sales tax is average. Smoking tax is average. Gas tax is high. We'll put it at four billion a turn. We'll just drop it just a smidgen. That should make people happy. We'll see what that does. Let's go to the next turn. Oh, we've almost paid off our debt. I'm so excited. Good news, the global economy is doing The budget is a good rate. We currently have a surplus of $14.2 billion and could consider dropping taxes. It's amazing. The election is not for a long time. The Freedom Party currently has a membership of zero. The opposition party has more members. What? what does that even mean right now? Countryside access. Much of the countryside is still privately owned, with access to walk on the land restricted by landowners. There's a strong campaign to bring in laws forcing landowners to make their land accessible to ramblers and walkers to enjoy countryside with certain guidelines. Private land is private land. This, yeah, it's, it's crazy to have so much open. That's, yeah, we can't. 
We have six point. We have reserves now for money. Yeah, we could totally drop taxes a little bit. We'll make them fair on the income tax. Bam! Look at that. Drinkers are loving us. Oh my god, they're like, no alcohol tax? Holy shit! The socialists still love me? Yes, they're 65% of the population. That's all we need is a socialist. Tax evasion should go down a lot. God, it's so close. Hospital overcrowding. Can we just bump this up just a little bit more? What did it start at? 9.7? There we go. Oh, I don't have the points to do that. I'll have to do that next turn. Let's see. The global economy is okay. Budget is in good shape. Cheap imports is no longer a problem. Good. We just made a poll rating of 76%. We're aware of a serious threat. Let's see. Internet economy takes off. Business leaders have declared that our country is one of the most internet technological centered economies in the world. Record number of our citizens now shop and work over the internet, and broadband web access is now almost universal. Uh, planning permission has been requested for the expansion of some of our country's largest airports. There's simply not enough capacity for the number of flights that want to land here. If we allow expansion, our tourism industry is very dependent on air travel. If we are to expand tourism, provide more jobs, and growth in our GDP, we must make more air capacity. Air travel is a pollution. I think we need to expand this. I know it's going to hurt the environmentalists. They're just 20% of the population now. So... Oh, that went back up just a little bit. Oh, man, I can't... No, I need to raise the... Uh... I need to raise this and I can't. I'll have to wait till next turn. Damn it! Yeah, internet crimes is gonna keep happening. Fucking 4chan. Inner city riots should stop. Oh, I just can't get over that one. Global economies are the budget has a 5.92 billion surplus. The government the election is way off. Yeah, this thing's just broken after, even when you have no terms left. Fishing quotas. Uh, let's agree to the quotas, because we're socialist. I totally didn't read that. It was about quotas on a limited number of fish. We're socialist and we're, we're liberal, so we have, to, we have to want to save the fish and the animal life and all that good stuff. Let's see, wasteful economy. Maternity leave is hurting that the worst. Technological grants. Is there anything I can do to get those people to uh, go more? Uh, tax shelters? No. Welfare? I don't know. Speed cameras, CCT cameras. I actually thought about doing that. But we need to raise this up now. To 10.5 billion. There we go. So people will be better. The people will be healthier and better and love it. Bam! Hospital bed occupancy rates have fallen and doctors are pleased to report that there are no longer unacceptable waiting lists for routine operations. Hurrah! Global economy is doing okay. We currently have a surplus. 80% of the people like us. Hunger strikes. A convicted terrorist has gone on a hunger strike demanding he be allowed visits from people thought to be associated with terrorist groups. We do not have the evidence to arrest his colleagues and are currently banning all visits for this prisoner. But it looks like he will go through it with his hunger strike threat and may well die in his cell. Allow visits. We may not like this man and what he stands for, but we cannot allow him to die in a cell. Doing so would only reduce us to the level of a terrorist. It would also almost certainly make him make a martyr out of him. We should let him have visitors whilst in prison. Whilst? Huh. Prevent visits. You do not negotiate with terrorists. It's simple as that. They will only perceive any negotiation or relaxation of the rules as part of a sign of weakness. If he dies in prison, then that's his decision and we should not be concerned. We're socialist. We have to allow the visits because we're weak. We have to let that happen. 
Farmers are not happy at me. Why are they not happy? I don't see how that's the only thing affecting them. Let's see. God, why can't you go down? Poverty? Welfare Fraud Department. State Pensions. Is poverty even listed on here anymore? It's not it. Is this it? Yeah, here's poverty. Poverty has gone down. State school, state pension, the tobacco tax increases poverty. As much as I hate to say it, do we even need the tobacco tax? I can't cancel it, but next turn maybe I will. Because, I mean, we've got a lot of reserves right now. Nobel Prize! One of our brighter citizens has won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Sweet! Uh, we have a surplus. 81% love us. Serious threat. Foreign presidential visit. Uh-oh. The president of a nation with a fast-growing economy has invited you to an official state visit. The visit could be an ex excellent opportunity to encourage trade with that country, which would be great for jobs. But the country's record on human rights is highly questionable. Uh-oh. Turn down the offer. This foreign leader has an appalling record on both human rights and attitudes to non-whites within his country. There will be widespread anger amongst both ethnic minorities and human rights campaigners in this country and international community if you carry out the visit, which is effectively an endorsement of this man's brutal policies. Accept opera. The visit should go ahead. Firstly, it would be great for the economy, potentially creating jobs amongst the very minorities who oppose the visit. Second, we cannot possibly influence the behavior of other nations if we refuse to even meet with their leaders. This one's tough. I feel like I should accept it, but I feel like I'll make people mad. But then again, it's my last term, so fuck it. We're going to accept the offer. Because we got $30 billion in reserves. It's great. Property tax, okay. I think I'm going to get rid of this cigarette tax. I think that worked out nicely there. Stem cell research. I can't raise that, but I'd like to. All right. I can promise you when I go to Sacramento, I will pump up Sacramento. <laughs> Inner city riots have been under control by the police. Thank God. Uh, still a surplus. We're popular. 82%. You're in the middle of your term. Intelligence. We gotta get rid of that patriot group. A uh, large economic energy company wants to construct a new nuclear power station. The power station is needed as our economy grows, and the company has built similar plants before, so there shouldn't be any problems with its construction. Build the power station. We should give the go-ahead immediately. Nuclear power stations are in use all over the world without problems, and it would be mad to turn our backs on such a clean source of energy. Nuclear power emits no greenhouse gases, so it's far preferable to expanding an existing coal-fired power station. Nuclear power, let's see, if we prevent it, nuclear power may be generally safe, but the potential nightmare situation if there are problems mean it's just not worth the risk. There are cleaner, safer forms of energy like wind, solar, and wave power that we should be encouraging. Turn down this application to, and we can be certain the power will be found from other sources. I don't think people like those in their background, so we're going to prevent that. The NIMBY effect. NIMBY, not in my backyard. Capitalists still don't like us. I'm getting rid of the tax. What's your all's problem? Internet crime. The intelligence service. You know what? Bam. We're going to raise that. Okay, that, that seems like that was successful. Global economy is in recession. 3.583%. I need to uh, watch this extremist group. They're probably going to kill me at the end of my term. Child labor law. 
Too many of our younger citizens are leaving school early in order to take up low-paying jobs. Some are even skipping school to work full-time when they should be learning. This happens in my own classrooms. I have kids who miss school because they say if they don't go to work during school hours, they'll lose their job, which I'm pretty sure is illegal. The law is very, currently very weak with regards to preventing companies from employing under-16s in full-time positions. This proposed law will make it a criminal offense to knowingly employ someone under 16 for more than five hours a week. Criminalized child labor. We can make speeches about how children should be in school until we're blue in the face, but unless we back up our words with legislation and the threat of criminal action, our children will continue skipping school to earn money. We must back this law for the sake of the children. Leave the law unchanged. This law is unnecessary. The children who are skipping school are unlikely to be those who would pay attention in class anyway. Not always true, but for the most part, probably true. And they are contributing to the economy by working instead. Also, we are running the risk of criminalizing small businessmen who may not know the age of the people they employ on a casual basis. That's just stupid at the end. But we're socialists, so we're going to criminalize this. Because we want people to be educated. Is this done yet, wasteful economy? <sighs> fucking maternity leaves. I don't know what else to do to get the uh, economy going. We could recycle. Bam. It only cost a couple million? Yeah, universal doorstep collection. That's what I'm talking about. We know what happens to people who stay in the middle of the road. They get run down truth. Nobel Prize. Alright, we keep winning these things. Global economy is in recession. We have a surplus of 1.1 billion. 84%, so that keeps going up. Minor threat. Debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of the methods they are using, sometimes quite aggressively, to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom, lar whom larger... Whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. A law is proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. If we limit their activity, these agencies are preying on the weakest and poorest in our society, often tricking them into borrowing money at exorbitant rates that can never be repaid. That's true. This is a little more than extortion, and the government should act once to limit severely the activities of such unscrupulous companies. Allow the agencies. Nobody forces people to borrow money they can't repay, and to restrict the rights of debt agencies to recover legitimate debts would be counterproductive. People need to learn to live within their means and not expect the state to bail them out in trouble if they cannot do so. But we are a socialist country, so we have to protect the people. They aren't capable of doing it on their own. Alright. Tax evasion is going down. What's causing the most? Corporation tax, which is average. I might drop that, but not yet. The cabinet's still doing okay. They're experienced. Wow. Choo -choo! She loves me. Alright. The Prime Minister has a lot of explaining to do. Menzies Campbell. Uh, we're still making money, 84%. The global economy is having a negative effect. Landmine ban. We're going to ban these. Man, could you imagine if America had a $42 billion reserve? That's just crazy. I can't drop taxes right now because, well, we're too close. Maybe when the economy does better. Because this is fair. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're good right now. The wasteful economy. I just... Technology grants. But there's really nothing else to get kids to go. Technology colleges. We can do that. The socialists don't like technology colleges. That makes no sense whatsoever. All right, moving along. There's a gullible side to the American people. They can easily be misled. Religion is the best device used to mislead them. Eh. Oh, it's Michael Moore. <laughs> I can't stand him. Still a surplus. Polls are awesome. 
Retail merger. A large retail chain store has announced plans to buy out one of its main competitors. This merger needs government approval, but if it goes ahead, it will create one of the biggest companies in the country. Uh oh. Uh oh. Allow merger. There's no good reason to prevent this merger. It's increasing the global market. Our companies need to grow if they are to compete successfully. The bigger company will be more efficient and effective in the global marketplace. True. Block merger. The whole idea of the free market is based on competition. Allowing these two firms to merge will reduce both competition and consumer choice and no doubt lead to redundancies. It's another example of the government looking after big business and forgetting the little guy. Small business and trade unions urge you to block the merger. Well, we're going to block it because we're socialists. If I was a capitalist country, I would totally allow it. We can't have monopolies out there. My foreign relations... Is not doing too good. Uh, military is fine. I want to give some more for. I don't want to give two billion for an aid. Let's bring this up to a billion. We'll give a billion for an aid. See, the socialists love that shit. Foreign relations goes down if we give foreign aid? That doesn't make sense. Oh. Okay. So we have to give at least 1.5. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Let's make everybody happy. We probably just lost our surplus, but I could tinker with that here in a minute. We shall fight against them. Throw them in prisons and destroy them. Eh, Vladimir Putin. I love Vladimir Putin. There was a book I need to buy about him. Oh, we won another Nobel Prize. Damn, we're just chunking these things out like crazy. Global economy, we currently have a sur Let's see, we currently have a surplus. Polls are opposite. 86%? Damn. Flag burning. A, propose a proposal has been made to make it a specific criminal offense to burn the flag of our nation. Patriots are concerned that the people are whipping up anti-government hysteria by burning the flag in our nation in public. With the police powerless to act. Ban flag burning. I kind of wish this was legal. Because I still think at the end of the day, no matter your party or what you believe in, you're still in our country. And we shouldn't love it or hate it. It's ours. Um, but since this is a game and this is socialist, we have to allow it. We cannot claim to be a free society whilst at the same time. They love the word whilst. Denying the rights of people who oppose our government to express that view. Even if that means burning the flag. At the end of the day, the flag is just a piece of cloth. How can we make it a criminal offense to burn a piece of cloth? <sighs> I mean, we have rappers stomping on it in videos now. You know, people love that shit. Alright. Corporation tax... It is 7.64. I could drop it a billion. That really doesn't drop that down that much. Tax evasion is not going to change. Now, income tax. Look at... Good God! Yeah, I don't want to change that either. What do we want to work on? The wasteful economy. The labor laws are obviously... I don't know. I really don't want to tinker with much right now. Internet crime's going back down. Where's our internet access? Do we got this all the way up? What a... Productivity, technology, literacy... I know the one thing that I really wanted to do, but I still don't think we can afford it. I want to do a space program. Let's implement this. Good God! It's going to cost so much. How will we pay for it? Uh, 
Eight billion a turn. Yeah, this might be a bad idea. You can build a throne with bayonets, but you can sit you can't sit on it for long. Boris Yeltsin, that's a pretty good one. Budget deficit of one point seven four billion. High productivity. Sweet. And wasteful economy is no longer an issue. We also have the space program that's going on. Is this the space program? No, that's science. So everything's doing really well. I think we can cut this down a billion dollars. I didn't want it to go that much. It starts at 10.2. So we'll take it down to 9.2. Oh, I can't do that yet. I don't have the power. Let's see. Uh, where's my police force? Ah, they're only 2 point something billion. Because I know that that space program gets up and running, it's going to cost a lot, but I might be out of my turn before then, so we'll have to see. Ballots are the rightful and peaceful successors to bullets. We have nothing to pick here. The government is a budget deficit of $1.36 billion. People are indifferent to you. That dropped really quickly. Let's drop this. To nine. There we go. Why well, I have thirty-three. What's it take to lower that? For God's sakes, it takes forty. So next turn, maybe. All right. Oh, here's our space program over here. We can drop this down a little bit, I guess. We'll put seven billion into it. There we go. That should help us. Domestic policy can only defeat us. Foreign policy can kill us. Man, that's that's truth. Choose election manifesto. I will try to abolish the car tax. And I will increase lifespan by 10%. We won another Nobel Prize! Hell yeah! We rule chemistry. We got a big surplus. Sweet. So how do we have that surplus now? You know, I could put this back up. Space Station! I like the unmanned probe idea. I'm gonna leave it where it's at. Because I don't want to mess with anything right now. We're running a big budget. We've got reserves. I couldn't quite curb internet crime. Tax evasion, we got it lowered. Some things are going awesome. High productivity from laziness. And technological advantages. I'm, I'm excited about the way this direction's went. I don't think the intelligent reports are all that hot. Some days I get more out of the New York Times. Huh. It's an economic miracle. You have proven yourself to be the worker of economic miracles. The country is truly an industrial and financial force to be reckoned with. You at the helm. Other countries sneer with envy at the economic wonders you have created. Holy shit. The voters are angry at you for failing your election pledges. But yet, I just tuck in a lot of the vote. Who was angry with me? Nobody! Everybody liked me! <laughs> this was your final election victory. That's awesome. Quit game. Bam! How about that, gamers? <laughs> I made Malaganga my bitch. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm not saying this series is done. We have a lot more countries to go with. But leave comments about which other country you'd like me to go into. Um, you know, Malagongo was debt-ridden, and we come out of nowhere and had a space program. Maybe I need to get into politics. But I'd have to be totally socialist to do it. I just, no. 
I can't do that because I don't think that works in the real world. Maybe in video games on paper, yes, it looks great, but yeah, we know how that goes. But anyway, gamers, hope you enjoyed this episode of Democracy 2. Remember, it's part of the SKS Game Blitz, brought to you by this time Infernal Zephyr. I will see you next time. Good night. Thanks for watching.